want to dig deeper into this number now uh, and the state of our economy with Matthew Luzetti, Chief U.S. Economist at Deutsche Bank. Matthew, good morning. Good to see you again. Um, your take on these numbers. I mean, we are seeing a continuing unemployment claims uh, fall for the fifth straight week now. Is this encouraging to you? Thank you very much for having me. Uh, it, it is certainly you know, modestly encouraging that you continue to see an improvement here, even though we've seen this pickup in case growth across a number of these states. You know, we were expecting uh, both continuing and initial jobs claims to re remain reasonably steady at this point. But we, we also need to put this in a historical context. We are four months beyond the start of this the COVID crisis, and we are still seeing 1.3 million people filing for initial jobless claims which from a historical perspective would be, be record highs if you just take out the past few weeks. So you see a labor market, which is demanded is still gradually improving, uh, but it's still a labor market that uh, has a lot of pain, it's still a labor market that, that has a lot of slack out there. Matt, uh, we're, I think the market is, uh, remains focused on whether we will get a second wave of infections, COVID-19 infections, but do you think we will get a second wave of job losses. You know, on the top of our show, we were discussing uh, United Airlines cutting potentially nearly 50% of its workforce, and they're not alone in doing this. Yeah, I think we, we were very focused on, on a few of those states that have seen significant uh, COVID case growth. So Arizona, Florida, Texas, California. Out of those, it was really only Texas that showed a, a meaningful pickup in, in claims. So, so far, you're not seeing uh, significant pickup in case growth spill over into job layoffs, at least at the state level. But you are seeing a meaningful impact on economic activity. So if you look at small business activity, if you look at restaurant bookings, or if you look at broader measures of consumer spending, those states that are seeing significant case growth are underperforming pretty significantly. So I anticipate that that does spill over into layoffs over the coming weeks. Uh, and as you noted, the bigger corporations are, have also been announcing these layoffs. Walgreens also had an announcement this morning. So w while you are seeing gradual improvement, um, this uneven recovery, the fact that we don't have COVID uh, fully contained over the next few months, to me, suggests that you're going to see a very bumpy recovery. The labor market is certainly not out of the woods. Uh, Matthew, Jared Blicker here. Any sense that some of the temporary measures that were taken to protect jobs like the PPP program or the PUA, the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance itself, has contributed to the amelioration of the job losses here, and what happens when these measures roll off? Yeah, for PPP, there's been some great academic work uh, being done, and the evidence is really mixed. Uh, it's really mixed whether or not it's been able to support small businesses' uh, jobs gains or not. Uh, in terms of the unemployment insurance, I think that is the most important thing uh, to look at uh, going forward. It's very clear that both the unemployment insurance and the stimulus benefits really supported consumer spending, if you look into April and May, and in particular supported consumer spending for lower income groups, which had actually boosted their spending almost to, to January levels, so almost back to nor normal levels. Uh, by the end of July, those unemployment insurance benefits are set to expire. Uh, if they are allowed to in an environment with you know, still 1.3 million initial jobless claims and unemployment rates still at historically high levels, that'd be a significant negative for consumer spending growth going forward. So I think it's imperative that you see some re-upping of those unemployment benefits. Matthew, you know, the, these latest numbers include the 4th of July holiday. Do you think that that skewed things? Might these numbers not really reflect what was happening with jobless claims in the latest week? Uh, perhaps these numbers are actually higher than they're showing? It, it can skew things. Uh, so it gets into some technical uh, issues about seasonal adjustment around particularly holidays like this. Uh, and the seasonal adjustment did make the data look a little bit better than the non-seasonally adjusted data did, uh, where you saw a much smaller decline in, in those data. Um, but it, it's, not, uh, you know, it does, it's not a game changer for thinking about this data. You still saw modest improvement, both in NSA or seasonally adjusted data. Uh, you're still seeing this gradual grind lower in, in jobless claims so far. The key will be, as we go forward, as COVID case growth continue to pick up, um, and small businesses are hurt, restaurants are, are hurt, you know, a lot of these high contact industries are hurt. Will that remain the case? And, you know, I, I anticipate that you're going to see a, a stalling out in this progress, but, but it does remain to be seen. All right. Matthew Luzetti, Chief U.S. Economist at Deutsche Bank. Thanks for joining us. Thanks very much for having me.